Yeah, first record. Yep. Alright. Sweet. <laughs> Push. Team. My name is Ben and this is Mo, the fish. Rightio. What are we going to talk about today, Mo? Uh, muscle fibres arrangement. Gorgeous. <laughs> We've got two main types. We have fusiform and we have penne. Alright. With a fusiform muscle, the muscle fibres run parallel to the line of pull and does run the whole length of the muscle. So good. Alright. Then our penne muscle fibres run to the angle of the line of pull and does not run the full length of the muscle. Perfect. Okay, now our fusiform and pinnate are good for different things. Because our fusiform muscle fibres run parallel to the line of pull and they run the full length of the muscle, when they shorten, they're going to shorten smaller. Oh, no. oh yeah, they're going to get really small, so they're going to have a big amount of shortening. Whereas our pinnate, when they shorten, they can only shorten this far. So the more something shortens, the better it is going to be at doing speed. Speed. So fusiform is good for speed because they shorten a lot. Whereas pinnate, they don't shorten as much, so they're not going to be as fast. But how many muscle fibres do we get in the pinnate muscle compared to fusiform? More. More. So the more muscle fibres we have, the more stronger, stronger we can be. So pinnate is good for strength. Fusiform good for speed. Good. Um, a way we can look at muscles is looking at their anatomical cross-sectional area. Which is how big they are when we chop across them. So if we chop across a pinnate muscle, and we chop across this fusiform muscle, are they the same or different? Same. Yeah. So these two muscles, anatomical cross-sectional area, when we just do straight across the muscle, would be the same. Another way we can look at them is their physiological cross-sectional area. Good man. Physiological cross-sectional area. And this is when we chop across the muscle fibres. So with our fusiform, it's going to be the same. But with our pinnate, if we go across the muscle fibres, it's going to be quite a bit different. So it's going to be a lot bigger. So this is going to be an indication of strength because more muscle fibres mean more Stre um, strength. Good man. Alright, boom!